What up, Geek Squad? Did you know that now Gold Shell LB Box and CK Box Miners are compatible with NiceHash? So you can get paid Bitcoin for mining on those native algorithms on the NiceHash platform. Let's talk about that. So if you're anything like me, you are all in on Bitcoin right now. I got a couple of nice little moon bags I'm keeping to the side of some of these other altcoins. My focus now is those sweet, sweet Satoshis. So when I saw this article, it got my gears a turning. I'll leave timestamps in the description of the video, as well as in the timeline below. So if you want to jump ahead, go for it. Start with who? Gold Shell makes these small ASIC miners that are for, now they say they're for home use. They run on 110 volts. You can plug them into a normal outlet and they just sit in the background and mine cryptocurrencies. They don't have one for Bitcoin, and that's because the network hash rate is enormous, and it takes these giant, powerful, power-hungry, loud, expensive machines to actually mine any kind of Bitcoin. So, I, I saw this update recently where Gold Shell, LB, and CK boxes are now compatible with NiceHash. Pretty sweet, Gold Shell released a new firmware that makes the LB box and the CK box compatible with NiceHash. Now you can earn Bitcoin with Gold Shell's Eagle Song and Library ASICs. What? The what here is just that. Using these application specific integrated circuits to mine something other than its native crypto to get paid out in Bitcoin. Where? You can do this on the NiceHash platform using a NiceHash account, but it's not needed. You can use your own Bitcoin address in like a Zellcore wallet or a Ledger wallet or even a paper wallet if you wanted, and it'll work just fine. When? Well, this article came out February 20th, 2023. Why? Why would I want to do this? Again, if you're like me, you're pretty heavy into Bitcoin. The way of the world nowadays has opened the eyes of a lot of people that realize the banking system and our fiat currency just isn't going to cut it, especially in the long run. If I can do just about anything that I can in order to stack more sats, I'm going to do that. How? So first things first, if you have one of these LB or CK boxes, you need to know the IP address of the miner. You can use something like Angry IP Scanner. You would start the application, hit start, it would go through and scan everything in your network if you have the default IP range. When it's all said and done, uh, you can sort by host name. That's going to give you uh, the IP addresses that are currently populated within that IP range and just start dialing into them one by one. We're going to open a browser page. In the URL, we're going to put the IP address of what we think is going to be the host, and this one is. Now we can see the firmware version over here is 2.1.1, and our article says, so how to upgrade Gold Shell firmware. First, you need to make sure the firmware is latest found here, and that takes you to the Gold Shell GitHub repository, where you can scroll through and find the specific box that you want. Ours is the CK box, so the newest firmware, which came out a month ago, is 2.2.6. I've already got this downloaded, so when we're here in the miner, we'll go into systems, we'll go down to update firmware and click the little Clippy icon. You remember Clippy. Then we're going to find the firmware that belongs to our box and hit update. And sometimes this popped up. In fact, it's popped up just about every time. It said unlocked before, but we'll go ahead and uh, put in our password and we'll do that again. We hit update and we let it update does take a minute or two for it to go through, again, depending on the speed of your network internally. While we're doing that, while this is uploading and updating, we can go into our NiceHash account. You can either create one or you can do this anonymously. So what you'll need is your Bitcoin wallet address. In this case, I'm mining to my NiceHash wallet. And down here, you can see that I've got an Eagle Song, a CK box already hashing up over here, um, earning a little over a thousand Satoshis a day. Essentially, start here at your dashboard. You're gonna go to mining and your click here for your mining address. You could also click here and hit deposit and then show Bitcoin address 
there it's gonna give you a message that says, don't mine to this address. Use click here for your mining address. You click here and it's give, gonna give you this address. Looks like it finished uploading. We're still here at 2.1.1. Let's go ahead and restart Miner. You'll probably have to sign in again as well. While we're waiting for that to restart, we can take a quick look at the expected profitability. And I already showed you it's 1100 Satoshis or so. Now let's refresh the page. And once we refreshed, after we restarted, we can see we're on our new firmware, 2.2.6. That's exactly what we need. Over here under Miner, we're going to add a new pool configuration. Back to the article, we can see the mining stratum address or the URL here. All we have to do is copy, whoops, go to our miner. Now in miner name, we're going to put the Bitcoin mining address and then dot your worker name. Mine is CK2, your password will be X, and we hit apply after we log in again. I like to keep the original pool settings that I was using on two miners. I like to leave those in there just in case, whether it's a failover because nice hash servers fail or I wanna just jump back to it, it's real quick and easy to jump back and forth from one pool to another. All you do is literally drag it up and drop, drag and drop. And when you can see the little shovel is green, this one will stop being green. So we got one green shovel, one gray shovel. We can go back home and keep an eye on the hash rate that's gonna go up. All right, we can see here our hash rate is steadily going up. So it looks like we're on the pool mining. Now, uh, it's probably gonna take a couple of minutes to populate. Nope, it's already done. So if you have an account like me and you're actually using nice hash, that way uh, you can go under history and stats and look closely at that specific miner so we can see that it's up in mining it did just get added to the pool so it's going to take a little while to spin up and hash and uh really that's that's it now if you have a different bitcoin address that you're using a quick way to check and make sure that everything is set up correctly and that you're actually mining on the nice hash service is to go to nicehash.com slash miners and you drop in your Bitcoin address here. Miner not found. Hmm. Well, maybe that's because I'm using the Bitcoin mining address. I wonder what happens if I use this one. There you go. It'll show you here. So if you've got multiple rigs or if you've just got one or however many connected using that wallet address, it's going to show some stats right here that will let you essentially go over like we did over here under rig manager when you actually have an account. Kind of cool. I've got three of these machines. Two of them I've currently, well, I just set one up as you saw. Two of them I've got set up here. The third one I'm gonna be setting up here as well. Just trying to pull in those Satoshis. I'm gonna experiment a little bit with some of the other um, rigs that I have. Maybe something on an unminable. Uh, again, just trying to get more Bitcoin as I can. So if you found this interesting and you learned anything today, hit that thumbs up. And if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And of course, thanks for watching.